Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna uh, sort of talk about a couple of things I thought about um, uh, when dealing with actual fans and I noticed that uh, actual fans, uh, you know, actual fans is like this, you've got the hub here and connected to the hub you've got some impellers and around there you've got the casing now my question is those I've, I've looked at those impellers and those impellers are they have a quite a complex shape something like that and here's that connection that connection that gets connected to the hub and this thing this thing is a some wing profile it's quite a it's, it's quite a complex profile now I was thinking uh, what what these uh, these uh, 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 parts those those wings what they what, what the way they are manufactured they're mostly cast they're mostly cast in uh, in aluminium now my question is is it possible is it possible to use 3d printing To create some um, complex shape, which would be aerodynamically way more ideal than those cast shapes, and maybe even lighter, is that a possibility? I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. I mean, because I, I, I hear a lot about 3, 3D printing. Uh, it's also been used in industry. Some guys even did a whole bike using 3D printing technology. Now I'm thinking about um, uh, complex aerodynamics, especially like wings of an airplane or uh, those, those wings of, uh, of, of an impeller. Is it possible to use 3D printing to produce that? What are the costs of, of producing such a, such a part vis-a-vis -vis, um, uh, pre, you know, casting the whole thing? And how's the weight of that thing? So my question is, if, if we're gonna do 3D printing, 3D printing of those shapes. How, how, how are the costs going to look? Because costs is very, is very important in this industry. And another thing is what's very interesting, especially in today's uh, age of uh, efficiency and stuff like that, how about weight? Does, that, does the weight go up or does it go down? Because if it goes down, it is really worth uh, an investment because um, that makes those fans uh, much more efficient and it would require smaller motors etc etc so that's a question I'm interested in I'm also interested in some feedback of some guys who are in the know or from the industry what do you think of that 